Welcome back. As we know, there has been a moida over here, as you can tell, because there's blood. It's kind of a, a big hint. I think I've got some idea of what's going on here. Like, it's something to do with, probably, like, there seems to be, like, some kind of like, dirty mark down there, thinking about it. I, I think Maya, Mystic Maya, had been placed behind him, and someone else killed the victim. As to who, I think it's somehow connected to the, um, what was her name? What's the name? Court record, please. Court record profiles. Morgan. Morgan Fair. I think it's connected to her. I feel like she's the... Not necessarily the killer, but the one behind it all. But I'm suspecting any mini might be the killer in some regard. Not 100% on the details just yet, but that's... Uh, that, he's the victim, by the way. But that's, that's, that's what I've got going on so far in my head. But anyway, let us get out of here and move back to the meditation room. Hmm. I didn't expect something else going here. Okay, let's move to the Winding Way. Ah, June twentieth, Bay Manor, Winding Way. Whenever it comes up with that, you always know there's going to be something new. Little Pearl isn't here today. Maybe she's at school. That was it. Okay, side room. It's a box now. Okay, June twentieth, Bay Manor. Side room. Oh, I almost want to go back in the videos and see whether or not that box that was there was actually behind the divider, the, um, I can't remember what they called it now. Oh, hey, I like you're that guy from yesterday, the, uh, dentist guy. What they call it folding screen. I mean, like, was that box behind the folding screen? Hmm. <clears throat> no, no, I, I'm a lawyer. Uh, that's right. Um, Mr. Smith Esquire. That's right. Uh, wait, I, I mean, you're wrong. Uh, my name is right. Smith. Right. Well, I got like uh, three letters at least. I don't think she gets the point. Anyway, why are you here? So, like, I studied this thing called parapsychology at this college and... Um, you told me about that yesterday. Uh, the sesame allergy too? What I'd really like to know is why you're still here today. Oh, so, like, that's what you meant. Uh, uh, like, you should be more clear, like, clear about it. Yeah? Oops, sorry, what? My bad. No, it's okay. Like, it's ready. That's it? Why'd you stop mid-sentence? Did I? So, like, what was I talking about again? Yeah, I'm with you there on the triple dot. If I'm not ever wanted another genuine mysterious phenomena, it's right here. I guess we'll talk to her. Any mini. So, why are you still here today? Uh, like, there's uh, so much for me to, like, study here. Like what? N like the medium's training. Or, like, how they inherit their spiritual power. Uh-huh. I suppose this vintage is the real thing after all. So, like, I asked if I could stay here for, like, a little longer. Oh, dear God. She sure seems like the carefree type, at least on the surface. It's so hard to read her stuff. It really is. Like, really. Have you heard about the murder? It's, like, totally scary. He says with a silly smile plastered on her face. So, do you know anything about, uh, about it that might help? Somehow, I don't think she has a grip on reality. Let alone what's happened on, you know, what's going on here. Oh dear. About the victim, Dr. Gray. I don't know who you're talking about. Like, wait, you asked about him, like, yesterday too? That's right. My reaction yesterday when I asked was, You and Dr. Gray knew each other, right? I don't know any Dr. Gray. Oh, really? Then why, 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 why was all that talk about him earlier? Huh? Well, uh... Like, a long, long time ago, I was like, a patient, yeah? Okay, she is definitely hiding something from me. Like, is something wrong? Hmm... Examine them. 
I'll examine this straight off. Hmm, now where did this box come from? Sure, this wasn't here the last night. Looks like a box for storing clothes, but it's pretty big just for clothes. It's mostly empty, but a few folded pieces of Channing costumes sit at the bottom. It's like, I am assuming Maya was placed inside this. Like, that's, that's, that's my ink. Willow. It's a decorative wooden bear sculpture. There's a plate attached to the base. Crane Village, the heart of Channeling. What the? It's a souvenir. Isn't it cute? I, like, totally bought that. Ah, so it's yours, huh? Yeah. So, like, this village is really famous for, like, Channeling and bears. Hmm. Wait, famous for bears? But it's like, okay. If you ever, like, see a bear, you just play dead. And then, like, leave you alone. Is that right? Don't, don't. Uh, yeah, because, uh, like, fighting back is totally of no use. Yeah, but playing dead is just as bad, but all right. She actually tried to fight one? It's like, yeah, you've probably got better odds, but you're still very, very much screwed. The best, best chance is just try and get away. It really is. I mean, yeah, they run fast, but still, still the best, best bet is to run away. Have a plan. Don't go near bears, I think is the best thing in all of this. I think that's my advice in all this, is don't go near a bear. June 20th, Fay Manor, Winding Way. Triple dot. Huh? You surprised me. How are you today? Hmm, I guess she isn't open to friendly chatting. Huh? She's still holding something in her hand. Looks like the same thing she had yesterday. Okay, so I guess we'll try talking to her. The item in your hand, because we tried Pearl last time, didn't we? It didn't work, so. Um. Ah. Huh? May add something that would catch her interest. Maybe then she'd talk to me. Oh yeah, the thingy! Okay, so maybe if I go back. Maybe now, maybe now. Okay, so present. That's slightly translucent. It's small, but it has a deep, profound aura about it, because I'm sure Maya said something about that, didn't she? The Magatama. Oh yeah, Maya said to give this to you. Aww. Oh. Oh, I'm in trouble now. Morgan sees us like this, I'll be the next one they're channeling. Uh, that's... that's Mystic Myers. Huh? She, she actually spoke. Who are you? I'm Phoenix Rice. I, uh, worked with Maya. Y you worked with Mystic Maya? Y you're Mr. Nick, right? Uh, excuse me? I bet I know who she picked Nick up from. I know who you are. You're... Mystic Maya's special someone. Wait, wait, wait. What? So then, of course. You're going to have Mystic Maya, aren't you? Well, that's what you're getting, uh, going to do, right? Well, yeah, I will. Oh, wow. It's like a beautiful fairy tale. That earnest look shining brightly in your eyes. It must be true love. What? Am I being boiled into a bright red lobster by this little kid? I'm so jealous of Mystic Maya. What a wonderful relationship. Wait, I, I, I mean, we are... Th th things aren't like that. <laughs> I can tell you're a good person. Alright, Mr. Nick. I may be small, but I'm going to help you in any way I can. Thank you. Guess we can talk to her now. Pearl. Pearl, are you friends with Maya? I feel very grateful to be friends with her. She's so great. I want to be like Mystic Maya when I grow up. I really look up to her. Oh, I had no idea Mai was so... revered. Usually when people don't use Mystic Maya's title, I get mad. Uh, oh, sorry. But if it's you, Mr. Nick, then it's okay. Because... because you're special to her. Where in the world did she get an idea like that? By the way, this may be rude, but which channeling school are you from? Which channeling school? Yes. Uh, for example, I study the Kurain technique. Ah, I get it. No, no, no. I'm a lawyer. A lawyer. Lawyer. Yep. Is that related to spirit mediums in any way? Um, none that I know of. Uh, wait, are you telling me you don't know what a lawyer is? I'm sorry, but I have no idea. Well, I did say Pearl doesn't know much about the outside world. 
The item in your hand. So what's that you got there, Pearl? Oh, this. Uh, I found it yesterday. Hmm. If you want it, I can give it to you. Oh, well, yes, we'll accept it, of course. Alright, well, if you really want to give it to me. <laughs> you look like a child at a toy store, Mr. Nick. He not only speaks in a refined manner, but laughs in one, too. Alright, black key added to the court record. Um, Mr. Nick. Yes, Pearls? I can call you that, right? You're too cute. Too cute to just call you Pearl. You're too cute to just call you Pearl. Sure, Mr. Nick. Um, are you sure it's okay for me to have this Magatama? Yeah, it's okay. I was told to give it to you. But I can't accept something like this. All I really should do is charge this Magatama with spiritual energy. Spiritual energy? Please take this. It's glowing. Is it radioactive? I'm sure it'd be helpful. What do you mean? I'll let you see people's secrets. See people's secrets. Yes. It's all right with you. I'd like to accompany you for a little while. I can explain the Magatama's power to you when we meet someone hiding a secret. Okay, that's... Well, obviously now I want to come back to the side room. June 20th. Fay Manor. Side room. Hello again. We seem to be seeing a lot of each other today. Uh, she's like totally cute. Is she like your daughter? What? No! Who do you think I am? Okay, the victim. I want to ask you about the victim, Dr. Gray. What well, about the victim, Dr. Gray? It's more right. I like totally don't know him. My god. Hello, hello. Oh, what is that? You can see it, can't you, Mr. Nick? You can see the lock on that person's heart. Uh, what? This is the power of the Magatama. Only you can see these psych locks, Mr. Nick. Psych locks? Huh? The more someone wants to hide this secret, the more locks you will see. It's only one. I think you can easily unlock it. Unlock? But how? Please use Mystic Maya's Magatama on this person. Okay. Let's remove the lock. I have no idea what she's talking about, but... I guess I'll give it a try. You must be careful, though, Mr. Nick. If you make a mistake, it will hurt you. If you don't think you have the proof you need, you must have the courage to stop. Well, I've got to start somewhere. Let's give this psych lock thing a try. Okay, so... Give, 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 it, give it a go. How do I... How, how do I... I'm going to ask you again. Did you know Dr. Gray? I totally don't know that guy. Like, you're totally more persistent than a roach. At this point, do I do it? Like, when, when do I do it? This girl is hiding something. I'm sure of it. Guess I have no choice but to remove this lock. Alright, so first I have to use Maya's Magatama. Okay, so when, when do I do that? That's the question. So, like, now do I use it? Like, can I use it now? Like, like how, do, how do I use it? So that I want, like, present or something like that. Like, how does one use it? Is it present at this point? Ah, there we go. I was just sort of, like, trying to find out like, how, how, how do I do that? The victim. Any mini, I believe you do know who Dr. Gray is. I told you, like, how many times do I, like, have to repeat myself? If you're, like, so totally sure, then where's, like, your proof? Well, it may be possible that you never actually met Dr. Gray in person. I do believe you might have at least indirectly known of him. Hmm, like, what do you mean, like, indirectly? To try to show that the possibility existed for now. Mm, so something that shows a possible connection between Innie and Dr. Gray. Well, I'm imagining it's going to be the newspaper clipping. Because that makes sense because the whole... 
patience. She mentioned the fact that like, she was a patient in the past, all that type of stuff. So it's like this, this seems correct to me. The only connection I can think of out of the things we've got here. So here is your proof. Like, what's that? Oh, I guess it doesn't have anything to do with it, huh? What? Those did warn me. If you make a mistake, it will hurt you, she said. I don't have enough evidence, so I should probably stop. I take another look at the court record and think it through one more time. It may be possible that you never actually met Dr. Gray in person. I do believe you might have at least indirectly known of him. Like, what do you mean, indirectly? I should try... Hmm... Maybe I'm gonna get something else. Maybe there's more newspaper clippings, because the fact it's clipping one, maybe there's something else. Don't think it's the key. I don't think it's the folding screen. That's the only thing that makes sense to me right now. It's not gonna be that uh, guide. Ma no, I've not got anything. And I'm I'm assuming I can't present people. So that doesn't make sense. So okay, let's back out now. May have to get something somewhere else, I guess. Okay. All right, winding way. Let's see meditation room. June twentieth. Fay Manor, Meditation Room. Hey, it's you, pal. So you're going to be her lawyer, I bet. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh. I really feel bad for you, pal. Just this once, I wish I could be on your side. Detective Gumshaw. Yeah, but I shouldn't be saying that kind of stuff to you. Hey, you're a cute kid. <laughs> I'm not scary. Honest. Oh, I never knew gumshoe like kids. Hey, I know. I'll show you something cool. How's this? It's a real, genuine pistol. Detective gumshoe! What are you doing showing her something that dangerous? Oh. Sorry. Dude, you were gonna show her a gun? Look at this gun! Maya's guilt. What about Maya and the charges against her? I don't think you can win, pal. Talking about proof, we've got a few pieces. Got proof? Yeah, pal. The puffy haired photographer is going to testify tomorrow. Must be talking about Lotta. Actually, speaking of Lotta. I took some hot pictures earlier. Huh? Remember? I took some pictures at the murder scene inside. Lotta's hot pictures. What are her camera captured? Besides, you must have realized by now, pal. There's no way anyone other than Maya Faye could have done it. Well, I've got ideas about that. What am I supposed to say to Pearls now? The victim. About Dr. Gray. The victim wasn't super famous, but people still knew who he was. His face was all over the tabloid shows last year. Yeah, I know. I was looking through some newspapers from last year, and... I sworn I had. Uh, I got an article out, but I, I guess I must have lost it. He's searching through his pockets, and boy, are those big. Hmm, that's really interesting, too. Do you have a copy, pal? A copy of that article? I think Dr. Gray might have brought a copy to the office when he came by. Wait, so. Wait, if I. Maybe. 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 Percent. Um, Dr. Gray brought this over to my office the other day, and... Hey, it's that news story. Uh, the one about the malpractice suit. Fourteen patients died, and it caused a huge stink. Yeah, that's not all, pal. Things only got worse after that. You mean the car accident the nurse died in? Hmm, oh, here we go. Brought my own clipping with me today. Uh... Yeah, pal, this is for you. All right. Thanks. Just baby clipping too. Mimi Mini, nurse at Grey Surgical Clinic, died after falling asleep at the wheel. <laughs> well, that changes things, doesn't it? It's a very similar name to a certain someone, isn't it? <laughs> About Maya's trial tomorrow. I've got two pieces of news for you, pal. Two. Yeah, bad news and even worse news. So which do you want to hear first? I don't really care. It doesn't change the fact that I'm not going to like it. Alright, pal. Well, the prosecutor for the trial 
is Prosecutor Von Karma. Oh no. What? Von Karma. Yes. Manfred Von Karma. He was an awe-inspiring veteran prosecutor. He never lost a case in the 40 years of his career, and he raised a fearsome disciple. The horrible aftertaste of the evil he forced fed me is something I've never for I'll never forget. I've never forgotten, but right. Wait a sec. But didn't Von Karma stand... Uh, didn't Von Karma stand trial and... Now that's where the other piece of bad news comes in. Von Karma you're facing tomorrow is actually his successor. Successor? Okay. So, um... Who is the successor to Von Karma? Literally, pal, it's Prosecutor Von Karma's kid. The kid became a prosecutor real young, like 13. Hasn't lost a trial since. That's what they call a prodigy, pal. Hmm, kid, huh? Oh, wait a sec. The 13? Kid became a prosecutor at the age of 13? I mean, a prodigy like that, I would have heard something about. Oh, no, no, no. Kid was born and raised in Germany, pal. That country's got a lot of stuff, and it's a great place to develop a person's talents. Germany, huh? That's probably why I've never heard of this person. Mm, still, all it takes is someone mentioning the name Von Karma. And I get terrible flashbacks to that case. Stop it. Get a grip on yourself, Phoenix. Not that that matters anymore. Now that he's gone. Am I? Um... Let's see, maybe heading out to the Green Village. Oh. I was hoping to see a lot of that. Um... Meditation room. Now we've got that clipping, though. And let's go back to... The side room. Present the Magatama. Okay. And then... Not present at the right moment. Comes up, doesn't it? It just asks, doesn't it? Yeah, there we go. It's like, when do I, when, when, when do I present? So, Mimi Mini, nurse at Grey Surgical Clinic, died after falling asleep at the wheel. Take, that. Take a look at this newspaper clipping. Like, what is it? A story about an accident? Please read the victim's name. Um, Mimi Mini. Mini is a pretty rare last name, wouldn't you say? Miss Mimi Mini. Wouldn't happen to be a relative of yours, would she? Uh -huh. So you noticed, she, she was my older sister. I think that's relevant to this case. I'm sorry about your loss. Your sister, was she a nurse, perhaps, at Dr. Gray's surgical clinic? Gray surgical clinic? I don't think I need to tell you that the clinic was run by the victim, Dr. Turner Gray. Which is how you knew of Dr. Gray. You knew him through your sister. Ah, we're through. Okay. Oh, it's restored that as well, that's cool. I like that. I like that. It's just a new mechanic. I like it. Please tell me all you know about Dr. Gray. My... My sister's name was Mimi Minnie. She was like a nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. That's what I thought. I heard that, like, Dr. Gray was really tough on people. Like a total slave driver. My sister was like, always coming home totally wiped out because she was overworked. Wiped out? Was that why she fell asleep at the wheel? That guy, like, drove my sister so hard, so, like, that's why the accident happened. The one where 14 patients died from malpractice. Yeah, like, I think that was the doctor's fault, too. My sister was pushed by, like, everyone else's expectations and, like, her duties and stuff. And that pushed her to her death. Oh, I'm sorry. So, like, are we done? I've, like... I've already told my story to, like, everyone. 
You understand now, Mr. Nick. This is how a cyclop works. Oh, I don't plan to pry into people's hearts unless I absolutely need to. This lock... The lock this time was pretty easy, but... You might meet people who aren't as willing to give in later on. No. Oh. If you don't have enough proof, be careful and know when to stop trying. Okay, so we did get more out of that. Oh, just wandered off somewhere, I assume. Okay, meditation. Uh, channeling chamber. No, I'm just waiting for that, you know, it goes like June 20th, all that type of stuff. Okay, Crane. June 20th. Crane Village. Mr. Nick? Hmm? What's wrong? I... I never left Crane Village. But really? Well, that's, um, pretty amazing. You're going to meet with Mystic Maya, aren't you? Please tell her I said hi. Come with. Hey, wait. She ran off. Again. Well, I know it in his secret now, but... I still don't have any idea how I'm going to save Maya. I don't even know if I should go in there with a smile or a straight face. Uh. Yes, let's move with the detention center. Yes. I think we've got some info we could relate back. June 20th, detention center. Visitor's room. What am I supposed to do? I'm almost out of time. Can I really do anything? Can I really save her? Sorry to keep you waiting. Huh? Must be Maya. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Phoenix? That voice. Mia! You've allowed me being here, and it looks like you've learned to stand on your own. Mia. She's Maya's older sister and my mentor. She was a top notch defense lawyer, but a certain case forced her into retirement. Whenever I'm I whenever I'm in trouble, she comes to help just like this. My spirit comes back from the other world and borrows Maya's body for a bit. Phoenix, you can't make that kind of face in front of your client. A lawyer is someone who smiles no matter how thinking how bad it gets. And especially when it's bad. Mia. Yeah. Not smile at the end if you haven't been smiling the whole way there. In any case, the face you're making now is no face to show a client, Phoenix. M but so tell me all about it. I'm going to guess that my sister is in a lot of trouble again. <laughs> well... I told her everything about what had happened in the last two days. Mia closed her eyes deep in thought while she listened. I see. Mia, yeah, what am I supposed to do? Pretty clear what a good lawyer does in this situation. And that is, tell me, please. Believe in your convictions, and fight for the complete acquittal of your client. Hmm. Well, I'm going to use this as a point to end this part here, and in the next part, we'll speak to Mia. We'll see you then. Ta-ta for now.